Let's take a, take a look at several ways to uh, use our type tool here in Illustrator. Uh, our first way is called point type. And point type is simply where I will just click once and I can uh, begin to type. Now what's nice about point type is that I can grab this and manipulate this like an object. Um, so I can take this and uh, rotate it. I can kind of squish it out if I wanted to do um, something like that. The other way to type that uh, beginners deal with is a text box. And this seems to be what a lot of beginners do when they actually want to use point type. So they'll take the text uh, tool and they'll end up drawing a box out and they type inside that box. Now the disadvantage here is, and I just copied and pasted that block of text in there, the disadvantage here is if I attempt to rotate this, it's just rotating the text box, and so the text stays inside of that text box. However, if you want it to be a fixed width, you're going to want to use a text box, so that's how and why you would use a text box. Area type happens whenever I have a path already drawn. So I have this sort of random pen path drawn here. I can get my text tool and you can see that um, it kind of changes to a text tool little cursor with a dotted line around it. Or if I click and hold on my type tool, I can go to the area type tool and I get the same cursor. Well, I can click in there and um, let me paste in that text again. And you can see that it stops and breaks lines based on the shape of the path that I've drawn. This is handy if you're trying to work on an illustration and you have to uh, create some text that goes around some other type of object. Okay. Um, then finally there is typing on a path which we do frequently when we're working on our logo projects. So I have this circle here and I'm going to click on my type tool again. I'm going to go to type on path tool and I can type in um, whatever text I might want and I can control you know the font size and everything just like usual highlight it which I guess is a little tough to do on the on the rounded curve like that but let me crank that up a little bit now when I go to my move tool I, I get a couple of um, extra things that show up you see this little bar here I can grab that bar and move it around and rotate where my text is going to begin okay I can also grab that bar and flip it to the inside okay so now my text is here on the inside and I can rotate it around and get it to set right where I want it um, which is especially helpful if you're trying to create some kind of logo sitting inside some sort of shape like this circle here